Well, scientists in Singapore have made a discovery that may eventually lead to less severe cold symptoms. They found that a particular protein in the body gets triggered by the cold virus, resulting in inflamed lungs and other symptoms. For more, we're joined by Assistant Professor Frank Tien Chong from the Li Kong Tian School of Medicine at NTU, as well as ASTAR's Skin Research Institute. Uh, Professor Chong, so we're talking about the protein called NLRP1. Uh, explain to us what exactly That's is correct. the reaction and what it does that makes us perhaps have a, a milder cold. Uh, so the name NLRP1 was from a legacy name, and the R in NLRP1 stands for receptor. So uh, what this protein does is that it functions as a sensor. Uh, it patrols uh, the uh, our lungs as well as uh, other body sites for the presence of uh, viral attacks. And in this case, NLRP1 is a very specific sensor uh, for the common cold virus, otherwise known as the human rhinovirus. Uh, also, Professor, um, how will this discovery help, um, you know, in terms of the design of treatment for maybe influenza or even COVID-19? Will it help at all? Oh, I think it certainly does. Um, our work was predominantly done uh, with the human rhinovirus, and uh, that's the causative agent for the common cold. And I think many of us have got common cold uh, before, per perhaps multiple times. And uh, if we have learned anything from uh, the global pandemic in 2020, um, is that there's so much about our immune system that we don't quite understand yet. Um, and um, the first step towards understanding how our body reacts against a um, virus that infects our lungs, such as the coronavirus uh, and influenza virus, as well as the uh, human rhinovirus, is to identify which protein our immune system uses to, to detect their presence. And in this case, uh, we have worked, uh, we have done ex extensive work on um, how and why NLRP1 functions as a sensor for the common cold virus. And we are working very actively in translating some of that knowledge uh, into other more deadly viruses, such as influenza and the coronavirus. Um, you know, I'm wondering how does your discovery, how is it going to manifest itself in our everyday lives? You know, will we be able to go to a doctor to, to get some kind of treatment? And I'm also uh, curious because it, it takes such a long time from discovery to actually to the market. Um, what's next? Oh, you're certainly right about that. Uh, drug discovery is a very long process. Um, but I think uh, the first step uh, in doing that is to identify exactly which protein to go after. Uh, uh, in our parlance, it's called, it's called identifying the drug target. So that is the first step. And uh, without that knowledge, it's usually a shot in the dark and it can take even longer. So I think that is the value of our, uh, of our uh, research that was recently published. Um, it uh, shows us um, um, a path to take, um, a, a, a viable direction. So hopefully, we can shorten that process to, uh, um, to, to just a few years. And uh, um, with, uh, with the help of our work that is ongoing in our labs, we're hoping to put a, a molecule perhaps into preclinical testing uh, in a, within the next five years. Wow, the sooner the better. Uh, the Assistant uh, Professor Franklin Chung uh, of the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine at NTU uh, speaking to us there about uh, this new protein that he's discovered, and I'm going to just say it one more time, NLRP1. Remember that.